Hey there, this is your Avon Lady, Chris Arnold, and I wanna take you through my morning skincare routine. Um, so I've already done videos showing my um, cleansing routine and my evening skincare routine. Um, and like with my evening skincare routine, there are quite a few products that I use in the morning. And there are some mornings that I use every single product in my AM regimen. And then there are days that I don't use um, as much, um, that I maybe will only use one or two products. Um, just kind of depends on how I feel that day, what I'm going to be doing that day, what my skin really needs um, that day. So um, this morning I am, um, I've already um, have showered. And so um, one of the things that I did this morning, um, normally when I get up in the mornings, I don't need to do my full cleansing routine because theoretically, if I am keeping up with my skincare routine, I have done the full cleansing the night before. So really all I'm taking off in the morning is just any remaining of the skincare products I used the night before that's maybe still on the surface. Um, you know, any, unless you wash your pillow every single night, there is dirt and bacteria and skin cells and what have you on your pillow every night. I know it's kind of icky, but um, you know, you want to kind of refresh the skin and get that off. Um, because I showered um, just before um, I started this, I did use, um, once or twice a week, I use the Isanox A New Collagen Booster Microneedling Polisher. Um, the reason I use this in the shower is because it is a very, very gritty scrub, and although you don't use very much, um, I just find it so much easier to rinse off if I stick my face in the shower than it is trying to use a washcloth and the, and the sink. Um, so I use this um, in the shower, like I said, once or twice a week, it's actually recommended two to three times a week. Um, I find for my skin, the benefits last longer for me. So this will be something that you would do a little bit of trial and error. I wouldn't do it more than three times a week, but sometimes, you know, even once a week um, would be enough. And what this does is it really um, helps get that, that layer of dead skin off the top and smooth out um, the skin. And I'll tell you what, like I said, this, my skin is never felt smoother since I started using this and the other collagen booster product that I'll show you. Um, so even after doing that, um, it does, because I do it in the shower and then I'm taking care of my hair and the body and everything else, it does leave my face um, feeling a little dry. It's very smooth, but very dry. Um, and um, I do want to get, you know, any last little traces of, you know, maybe my hair conditioner or anything that might have gotten on my face in the shower off. Um, and if it's a normal morning that I have not done the microneedling polisher in the shower, um, I will use the micellar water just to kind of, like I said, get that last little bit of um, whatever has come on over the night off and refresh the skin a little bit before I put um, my moisturizers and treatments on. So I just put it on a little cotton pad and just sweep it over. Um, also see, I did that in, uh, and if I haven't just showered and I'm actually, um, you know, just kind of going for a lazy day or like I have really dry skin, so I can't actually shower every day unless I'm really dirty or sweaty. Um, I will also, you know, do what my, my parents and my grandparents taught me when I was a little kid and clean behind my ears. <laughs> so it's a good way to kind of do that. Um, if you're not doing, you know, your full bathing routine, you can get behind your ears with the micellar water also. Um, so this is a water-free um, cleanser. It's water itself, but you don't need, um, you know, a sink and a washcloth and all of that. You just need, so it's great for those times when you um, don't have access to a sink or really, like I mentioned in, in my cleansing routine or my evening routine, I, I don't like to splash my face with water just before I go to bed because that kind of wakes me up. So that's all I do for cleansing in the morning is the micellar water and I'll do the microneedling polisher in the shower once or twice a week. Um, so my next step is I like to use the Isanox New Clinical Collagen Booster um, Serum Ampules. And these have made, I mean, the entire Isanox line has, line has really made, um, for me, a lot of improvement in my deeper lines around my mouth. Um, but this has been like kind of the biggest um, short-term result, like, like right away I start to see um, a difference. So these come in um, what I call single serve ampules. Um, so it's a full, you know, dose in one ampule. I do find this serum is um, a little thicker than the other, the other two serums that I use, the one that I use at night and the one that I use in the morning. And um, I find if I use just one ampule all by itself, I have to really 
um, limit it just to kind of this area here and I don't get it out maybe where I've got more lines on my forehead or out to help with the finer lines on my cheeks just because it is a, a, a kind of thicker formula and it dries really fast so I feel like I don't get it um, spread around. So what I do with this is I either do what I just mentioned. I do targeted just in sort of the center lower half of my face here or what I will do is I will mix this. Oops, I grabbed the wrong bottle because they look a lot alike. I will mix this with my uh, Isanox Anu LX Ultimate Rejuvenating Serum um, that I use as my first step in the morning. So I will either do this first followed by this, or I will mix them together, which is actually what I'm going to do now. Um, and by mixing them together, I'm able to, um, you know, to have both go all over um, the face and get the benefits uh, all over. Um, so the Rejuvenating Serum from the uh, Isanox Anu LX Ultimate line, and isn't that a mouthful, um, is really just, it does, it leaves my skin just feeling so silky and smooth. Um, and that's pretty much the entire Isanox LX, uh, a new LX Ultimate line all together. And um, I just get a little bit over and then I just massage it in an upward motion. Um, but that entire collection, um, when it first came out, I used just the four products in the Anu LX Ultimate Connect Collection. And they just really leave my skin feeling so silky and smooth. I just love them. Um, so it was worth it to me to add all four products into my daily routine. Um, so I use three of them in the morning and two of them in the evening. There's one product that I use both um, day and night. Um, and that's actually the next product I use, which is the Isanox Anu LX Ultimate Rejuvenating Eye Serum. Um, and again, this just has really, um, as much as the other two, the, the clinical eye lift that I use in the evening and the um, vitamin C brightening serum for the eye that I'll show you later in this routine. Um, this has really just really helped to even out my eye area, really um, smooth out the, the, you can kind of see it on this side, my, my really deep, almost like a demarcation line between my under eye area and the rest of my face, which is something that, well, I mean, I should probably just embrace it because this is the way my face looks. It's, it's something that I always try to camouflage and make look, um, make it be a smoother transition. So this really has kind of helped. So what I do is I do, um, not even a full pump, a full pump is almost too much. Um, I do, but I do just a small pump on one uh, ring finger and then I kind of, you know, smooth it between the two, separate it. And I use, always use my ring finger when applying um, eye products just because that is your weakest finger and you don't want to be tugging and pulling on um, the eye area. So I just smooth it around again in that, that upward motion and then I just kind of pat it until it absorbs. And because I'm right-handed and can control that hand better, I will take what's left from the other finger <laughs> and use that for the other eye. You could just do, you know, that finger with the other eye. I am not that coordinated with my left hand, I will say. I, I will, um, so yeah, just give that a little pat to help it absorb without too much tugging. Uh, then, um, I followed that up. Now, one thing with um, when you're using quite a few products or you're layering products at all, um, and it's, it's especially important between these next two that I use because they both go all over the face, um, you want to give each product time to absorb. Um, so kind of what I've done here, my first steps were the, the, the serum and the ampule serum went all over my face or, or targeted and then all over. And then the eye was just the eye area. So then my next step, I can go back and what's what I did all over the face, the serums have had a chance to absorb. Um, so my next thing, if you have even slightly oily skin, and I will say as much as I have, you know, combination skin that tends to get oily and shiny, all of these products really work with other skin types. Um, 
there's a couple that maybe would not be enough moisture for really dry skin. Um, but I mean, that's the great thing about uh, combination skin is I need stuff for dry skin and oily skin. So all of these work really well for the drier parts of my skin as well. Um, so if you don't necessarily have combination or skin that leans toward the oily side, these would still could be, you know, great products for you. And of course, I'm always happy to help you find just the right product for you because what I use, you know, we're all unique. What I use may not be um, what you use. But this one product, this is the one thing. Remember I said I don't necessarily use all of this every day. Sometimes I switch off between different products where we'll only use a few on certain days. This product is every single day. If I put nothing else on my face in the mornings, this is it. And sometimes when I'm really lazy at night, this is the only thing I put on. I don't even do my nighttime stuff. So this is the Belief, and it is um, the True Cream Aqua Balm. And it is a um, gel moisturizer. I've got about you know half a jar on there. And it's got a little bit of a, a blue tinge to it, but it is um, based on an herbal formula that's about 100 years old. And it is um, got more natural ingredients. It's not all natural, but it's more natural ingredients than a lot of stuff. Um, it has a nice, fresh smell. It's uh, almost kind of a citrusy smell. So it, says it smells very... Um, what a few of the folks on my team have come up with is um, hospital clean is how it smells. So I just take a little bit, um, and you can use a spatula if you don't really want to stick your finger in the jar. Um, it's actually probably, as far as best practices go, use a spatula because um, even though I wash my hands before I start my skincare routine, um, there's still, you know, stuff on my hands that I might be transferring into this that could be you know, breaking down the product or introducing bacteria or anything like that. And in most cases, it's not going to ever be a problem. But if you want to be super safe and super sanitary, you use a spatula when you take your product out. Um, but what I love most about this is it is very moisturizing. So for the dry parts of my skin, it really, really uh, moisturizes those parts of my skin. For the shiny and oily parts of my skin, it really keeps my skin kind of matte all day. It, it has a mattifying effect to it. And it also, okay, brace yourself. You're going to get a real close up on my nose. It really helps minimize the look of all my pores that like to, you know, make themselves known during the day. So it also has the effect of my makeup going on smoother and not settling into my pores and really fine lines because this is really, um, I don't know that necessarily this helps as much with the fine lines, but it really helps with the pores because it minimizes the look of them and really kind of helps keep um, the makeup and everything from settling into them. So this is the, the Aqua Bomb. This is the number one, like my favorite moisturizer ever. And like you will pry this out of my cold dead hands, honestly. It's, <laughs> it is that, that good. Um, so I do, because my next product also goes all over the face, um, I want to take a, a short, um, so what I usually do in that case is that's when I start playing with my hair. Um, you know, maybe if I haven't gotten fully dressed yet, that's when I'm going and getting um, the rest of my outfit for the day. That's when I will put on my um, VDL, um, what do we call this? <laughs> I forget, it's another long name, but it's the Marble Cube uh, Lip Treatment. And uh, so much more than a lip gloss or a lip balm. Uh, really moisturizing for the lips. It's got this kind of great marble color. So it gives just a really natural uh, look to the lips. You know, so if I'm not wearing anything else, there's a little bit of pink to it, livens up the lips. Um, but I do this in the morning and the night, and that alone helps minimize how much lip balm I'm using during the day and how much I'm reapplying my lipstick or lip gloss or whatever just because my lips are dry. So it really helps moisturize the lips. It's also when I might stop and get a drink if I hadn't just put something on my... <laughs> <laughs> on my lips but it's just I give it a minute or two for the uh, aqua bomb to absorb before I go to the last of the four this is the last of the four Isanox Anu LX products um, that you're seeing and it's the ultimate rejuvenating day cream um, and again I just really like this is um, overall when I was using just the um, Anu LX collection when it first came out um, left my skin really silky and smooth um, especially now that I've added the collagen booster that just really like I thought my skin could not get silkier or smoother until I started using the collagen booster um, it's very nourishing for the skin um, it has the peony extract 
Um, so it's got, you know, somewhat more natural ingredients. Um, it's kind of got a nice, really soft smell to it. So I enjoy it when I'm putting it on, but I don't continue to smell it throughout the day. Um, and, and it really is um, helping even out my skin tone as well. So, you know, especially days when I don't necessarily want to wear foundation, if I'm going to be out all day wearing a mask, I may not necessarily want to be wearing foundation to even my skin tone. Um, so all of these are combining to kind of leave my skin in a state that I don't feel like I necessarily have to do foundation. I still do a lot, but, um, you know, but that, um, you know, really just is leaving my skin in a better condition than it was before I started using them. Um, the next two things that I use are for the new vitamin C. Um, first is the brightening eye, eye cream. And of course, because I do have sometimes, they're not real bad this morning, but a lot of times like right through here and right over here will be really, really dark. Um, even though I don't feel like I slept very well last night, I apparently did get a good night's sleep because my under eye area does not look bad this morning. I do the same thing. I do a little pump onto my fingers and then split it between the two sides. Um, and I just do this one underneath. But the, you know, vitamin C is very good for, um, for brightening and it's, and it has antioxidant, um, uh, benefits to it as well. So it helps prevent some of the further damage that you get just by living your life. Um, but it just kind of helps brighten up that area a bit. Again, helps blend it in with the rest of my face better. Um, there, so, and it's very, very, um, lightweight. So I like the feel of it. It doesn't feel heavy. Um, a lot of times if you layer eye products during the day, it can cause like your concealer or whatever you put under your eye to kind of slip around and settle into um, lines and creases. And you don't really want that. This is super lightweight. So even though I'm using two eye products in the morning, it doesn't add a lot of weight, doesn't make it like super slick, um, but just kind of helps brighten up that area a bit. Um, and then the other vitamin C product I use, because I do have sort of an uneven skin tone and um, it's really faded a lot um, with this regimen, but um, I do have like a very um, distinct sort of um, freckly or, or discolored mask um, on my cheeks. It continues down um, onto my neck, but the vitamin C brightening serum, again, because my skin tends to be oily and shiny, that is not something I can use during the day. It doesn't absorb right into my skin like it does for those with drier skin. It kind of doesn't feel like it absorbs. It stays kind of tacky and it does make my skin um, shiny. So I wasn't able to use the brightening serum as much as I wanted those benefits of helping to even the skin tone and brighten out those discolored areas um, on my face. I couldn't use it. Well, then we came out with the um, vitamin C illuminating priming moisturizer. Um, so this is a great alternative to the brightening serum if you can't use the brightening serum for any reason. Uh, but it also is a major multitasker. So you've got moisturizing, you've got illuminating. So again, it's got that brightening effect and, um, and priming for your makeup. So if you're really looking to cut down on steps, you're not looking for this kind of regimen or a multi-step makeup regimen this is a great multitasker that you can use. Um, and some days, um, my skincare routine before I do my makeup is my Belief Aqua Balm, my brightening eye serum, this, and then I go to makeup with no primer. Um, so again, it just depends on what you're looking for each day. Um, this one is also, you know, it's hypoallergenic, it's fragrance free, but it does smell like oranges because it has vitamin C in it. Um, you know, it's, it's a really, and I just use a really small amount. Um, the one thing, when you're layering products, you really use a lot less of each product. So it takes you a lot longer that like each jar or, or tube of product lasts a lot longer. Um, and just like with the other items I do, you know, just to kind of, you know, put it around to make sure I get it all over. And this I bring down um, onto my neck. I don't do a lot as much down onto my neck in the mornings. Um, usually in the mornings I will do either the, the, the LX serum or the day cream. I will do, make, do those down onto my face. Um, and then I do this or down onto my neck. I mean, do this down onto my neck. And the reason I don't do a lot on my neck during the day is just because if I, it's, it's like, um, 
things don't absorb into the, you don't absorb as much into your neck as you do into your face. And so while your neck needs skincare, just like your face does, um, I find I get kind of, um, kind of icky, especially if I get sweaty. Um, I get kind of icky on my neck if I do too much product. Um, so I just do, like I said, either the serum or the day cream and the, the priming moisturizer because I want those benefits of, of the brightening on, on my neck, um, or the evening of the skin tone. And those are the two that do that. And they're both, um, you know, moisturizing enough for the neck area. So then the only other thing that I add in the mornings is of course, the one thing I'm missing, um, especially because I live in the desert Southwest and we have a high UV index year round is sunscreen. Um, so of all of our Anu day creams that have sunscreen in them, I have found the Anu Vital lotion to be um, the one that contributes the least to oiliness and shininess throughout the day. Um, most of the rest of them are um, just too heavy for me to use during the day. The only other one that I ever use, um, I might occasionally use if I'm going to be out in the sun a lot because um, the Vital Day Lotion and most of our new um, day creams and day lotions are on SPF 25. Um, we have the Skin Vincible Day Lotion. Um, this is actually what my husband uses. Um, is an SPF 50. So if I'm going to be outside a lot, um, like if I'm going to an outdoor event or something, or I'm going hiking or something like that, I will use this instead of this. Um, but this is a little bit heavier um, and does not have the pores, the um, minimizing the look of pore benefits that the Vital line does. Um, the other one that I might use that I don't have up here right now is the um, Hydrofusion Daily Beauty Defense SPF 50 lotion. Um, that's a little bit heavier, so I would probably use that when I'm not using, um, I would probably drop at two or three other products if I'm using that because it is um, a bit heavier. So I do one pump for my face. Make sure to get my nose because that's like really out in the sun a lot. <laughs> um, again, this one has kind of a, this is probably the strongest scent of any of my morning routine. Um, kind of like a soft floral, not an unpleasant scent at all. Um, and then I will do a second pump and make sure that I get my uh, neck and my decollete because I don't want them to get um, sun exposure either. <laughs> Um, and this is, um, I will say, anything that you're going to put on the decollete area is the one advantage to um, doing your skincare before you get fully dressed. Um, of course, that particular option does not work when you're doing a video. Um, <laughs> and, um, and I don't always do that, but I do find it's much easier to more thoroughly cover that area if, uh, if I do that before I am fully dressed. Um, but that is um, my morning routine. Like I said, you can um, do different tricks to layer products. Like I said, like uh, if you want to use... Um, several products like most people do not use as many products as I do I totally know that um, I know a few people that do um, but you know if you're looking for um, just like a one and done you could do um, you know the the aqua bomb and the vital lotion or your day cream or day lotion with sunscreen of your choice um, with you know something for the eye area like depending on what your biggest concern with the eye area is um, you can, you know, mix and match which products you use. You don't have to use everything every day. Um, that's, that's the great thing about skin is some days it needs uh, more, some days it needs less. You can kind of go based on that. Um, you know, if I'm just hanging around in the house for the day or if I'm just going to be getting like, you know, doing work around the house, cleaning or organizing or something and I'm going to be getting all kind of dirty or if I'm gonna be doing yard work, you know, I might use less um, Make sure to use your sunscreen if you're out in the yard. But um, you can do things like mixing the, the two serums together to combine a step or combine two steps into one, things like that. Um, and you can also do like um, what I demonstrate in my evening routine, more of a spot treatment. Um, so if I maybe just wanted to do the vitamin C on my cheeks where the discoloration is more pronounced than maybe it is. Um, on my forehead or my nose or wherever, um, or in the evenings when I do stuff just for, um, just to help minimize the look of these deeper lines um, around the mouth.
So um, as always, I am always happy um, to chat with you and help you decide what products are perfect for you based on your lifestyle and how many steps you want to have in your regimen and based on what your needs for your skin are because we are all unique in both of those things. Um, so I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you for spending the last 25 minutes with me. I appreciate your time and I will see you all again soon.